Uh, there's a tinfoil hat kind of theory on Wall Street that Jay Powell calls these guys into their office, into his office, and says, uh, here's the message, everybody go out and give it. Uh, they don't do that. They give their own individual messages. It's just sounding coordinated these days because Harker, like everybody else, is suggesting it is time to dial back on stimulus but not to ease the overall pressure. Here's a quote from his speech right now. I expect that we will raise rates a few more times this year, though to my mind, the days of raising them 75 basis points at a time have surely passed. And he goes on to say, at some point this year, I expect the policy rate will be restrictive enough that we will hold rates in place to let monetary policy do its work. Uh, that's a very similar message to what we heard from the Fed leadership last night. You already mentioned Lael Brainerd, also John Williams, the vice chair of the Open Market Committee and the president of the New York Fed Bank, saying much the same thing. And they used almost identical identical language in laying this out. While there has been progress, both said, even with recent moderation, inflation remains too high, according to Brainerd, and with inflation still high and indications of uh, continued supply demand imbalances, it's clear that monetary policy still has more work to do. Now, Brainerd and Harker said almost explicitly they're looking for 25 at this meeting. Enough people have said that that I think you could pretty much put the, that in the bank, 